Welcome to another do's and don'ts video. In this video we're going to show you a few footwork mistakes people make and show you how they should be done. Our first one as you can see here is how to recover from the net after a tight net shot. You can see how Daryl is stepping back on his racket leg. This makes it difficult to return to the net for another net shot and do so takes a lot of effort and energy. You can see from this angle how much effort Daryl is having to make to return to the net because his weight is going back and doesn't have enough time to turn and bring his weight forward so he can play a kill and win the point. What you should be doing after a tight net is recovering with your racket leg in front. This still gives you the option to move back for a high lift but also allows you to explosively jump in quickly and kill the shuttle. You'll occasionally see the top players step back from the net. This is when they've played their net shot a bit deeper and have anticipated that their opponent will lift as it's difficult for them to now play a tight return. You can see from this angle how Daryl can easily kill it even when I've thrown it close to the net. Our next mistake is when recovering from the back after a drop shot. We see a lot of players just run back to base. Although this is the quickest way to move back, it makes changing direction very difficult and you can see how I'm struggling to stop when I split and as a result I'm taking the shuttle slightly late and under some pressure on the next shot. In the rally here you'll see as a result of me struggling to stop I take the next shot late which gives my opponent more time and the chance to take the shuttle early and gain the initiative in the rally. Be mindful here that this is for our drop shots and not clears and smashes as they sometimes have a slightly different recovery. What we should be doing after our drop shot is using a sidestep recovery. This allows us to move more easily, stop and change direction while still being able to look for and move to the net quickly. You can see in this demo how I'm easily able to change direction, move out to my forehand corner and take the shuttle early. This can be useful when our opponent is moving us from side to side in doubles. You'll see in these next rallies that I'm flicked but I'm able to push back and change direction quickly allowing me to get round the head. This gives me more attacking options and it allows me to control the rally. For badminton, we have a different recovery for different shots and you'll see that when I hit a good smash, I run in. This is because our opponent will struggle to lift it and is the quickest way to get to the net. Our next mistake is for players that take too many steps. This can be a result of a poorly timed split or doing what I call panic steps. This is a slower way to move and as you take more steps, it takes more time and can also be very inefficient when moving around the court. We need to make sure when moving quickly we stay relaxed and don't panic, using the right footwork patterns with the correct amount of steps. This helps us stay in control of our movements and is why professionals make covering the court look so easy because even when they move quickly and under pressure they don't take any extra steps and make their movements look smooth. Our next mistake we see players make is getting too close to the shuttle when hitting. This is linked to our preparation and judgement of where we are going to intercept the shuttle. We never want to hit too close to our body because this makes our technique cramped and as a result can reduce reach, power and angles. You can see from this example here how we're having to get really close to the shuttle and as a result that means I have to travel a longer distance making it harder for me to get back to base and cover the court effectively. So in effect, I'm making my court much, much bigger. We need to reach out early to ensure we are hitting away from the body. This means we don't have to travel as far, making our court feel smaller. You can see I'm taking it earlier, at the same time, not having to move as far. You'll see from this multi-feed practice that by reaching out for each shot, I'm able to quickly and efficiently get ready for the next shot, giving me more time and options. 
you want to master the basic footwork patterns and cover the court more easily, then check out this video here.